Hello friends, fellow beer geeks. I am Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and today I have a beer review from Terrapin Brewing Company out of Athens, Georgia. This is their Recreation Ale. They're calling this a Hopped Up Session Ale. Comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. And uh, I believe this is the first Terrapin canned beer we've tried here on the channel, so I'm excited to give that a try. I do love Terrapin beers readily available here in northern Florida, so that's nice. Terrapin, you know, just a little bit, little few hours north of us here in, in uh, Georgia. So let's go ahead and get this one cracked open and see what it is all about. Oh, well, I'm smelling it already. This is, uh, I think this is going to be pretty tasty. Okay, so as you saw in the pour, this has quite a strong carbonation uh, to it. Uh, this has been sitting in a fridge for about a week now, so it's had time to settle. It's not that. It's just it's very carbonated, I guess. Uh, so let's see what the aroma is like. Yeah, tons and tons of pine aroma in the nose. A little bit of citrusy, um, most, mostly getting pine on the nose on this. Uh, you know, fresh pine forest in the springtime. Smells amazing. Uh, let's see, the color on this is a very light, sort of light tan color, a little bit of orange in there. It's a little bit cloudy, but mostly clear. Pretty looking beer, pretty nice looking beer. So uh, I'm excited to give this a taste. Cheers. Right off the bat, this has a very light mouth feel to it. Uh, definitely a very refreshing hop flavor there. Really just, definitely just a citrusy, grapefruit juice sort of flavor. Still getting some of those, those pine notes in there. Uh, just definitely has that sort of grapefruit juice quality to it. As I said, very light mouthfeel, very nice, very, uh, this would be great on a hike in, in the warm weather uh, or just on a hot summer day. Yeah, really, I, I, I keep saying it, but I really like how light the body is on this beer. If you were to take this out in the woods with you and, and you know, drink it, you would definitely want something that's lighter and more refreshing, and this would definitely fit the bill. You know, it's not going to be real thick and heavy and just a really nice, hoppy, citrusy, piney sort of taste to it. Fairly bitter up front, but not too bad. Not not overly bitter, just a nice, you know, hop lover's dream sort of thing. Uh, very much like a grapefruit juice sort of bitterness to it. And, you know, bitter and sweet at the same time. It does. There is some nice malty caramel sweetness in there. And I don't believe I mentioned it, but I did pay uh, $1.50 for this single can of this Terrapin. So I'm guessing it's around, you know, 8 or $9 for a six-pack of this. So pretty typical prices. Okay, so we're getting down near the end of this Terrapin Recreation Ale. I want to give my final thoughts and my final ranking on this beer. I really love how light-bodied this, this beer is while still giving you a ton of flavor, a ton of hop flavor, a nice caramel uh, maltiness to it, uh, but still without being cloyingly sweet. Really nice and light and refreshing, exactly what it you know, markets itself to be as, a, as sort of an outdoorsy kind of beer. Uh, that's really tasty, really flavorful. So I'm, I'm really impressed with this. I would absolutely buy it again. Uh, good deal. Good job, Terrapin. You guys make some great beers. So thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more over at craftbeergeek.com. And if you're going to be doing some Amazon shopping in the future, please think of us and use the Amazon link on craftbeergeek.com or in the show notes below on YouTube. I thank you for that in advance. You'll get a small commission from anything you buy. Won't cost you any extra and it is completely anonymous. So for this Terrapin Recreation Ale, I'm really impressed. It really does something different and uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Definitely will be buying this again once the weather warms up some more. Perfect for outdoors. Perfect for taking somewhere. You know, it's in a can. It's not, gonna, it's not in a glass container. Uh, it's you know, it's going to stay fresher in a can without having light uh, hitting it. So just good all around. Really impressed. So 9 out of 10, thanks for watching. Please drink responsibly and remember, I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.